I'm Lauren McDonald with Real TV Films, and today I'm here with Charles Band, and you are the founder of Fullman Productions. Is that yeah. right? Yes, I am. So yes. tell me a little bit about your of what what you've got going on. Well, I've made, made many horror films and many films that have gone to franchise because people like them, like Puppet Master and Ghoulies and Subspecies and Trancers and. And of course, these films all have props and characters and maniacal puppets and dolls and ginger dead men. And... <laughs> As a result of that, uh, some of them are here at this auction this charity auction, and I'm here just to check it out and talk to you and that kind of stuff. So I know that this is a family business for you. Your father was in the same business. What was it like for you growing up in, uh, what I read about you a little bit, uh, you grew up in Rome or you spent uh, some time in Rome, and what were your earliest um, memories that inspired you to do what you're doing today? <laughs> Well, my earliest memories definitely are on a film set because my dad did make pictures in the uh, 60s and early 70s, mainly in Europe. Uh, films all over the place. They weren't just horror films. There, I mean, there were horror films like I Bury the Living and Face of Fire, but he made spaghetti westerns and uh, epics with Steve Reeves, so Hercules and westerns like A Minute to Pray, A Second to Die. And So I grew up on a movie set, and that was fun, and I remember a lot of horses and cleaning up like, like a lot of horse doo-doo. That was a big memory because when you made westerns and a hundred horses came into town, they left and that was one poor guy at a bad job, had to clean it all up. And So I remember that and I remember some of the horror films that were really cool. And I mean, I personally love the horror film genre and, and, and uh, science fiction. So that got me into it. So when I became older, I had all this training because my dad made me apprentice and do all sorts of stuff uh, on set. And I just loved the genre, so I just started making horror films, and I haven't stopped. I've made a lot of horror films, and some science fiction films. You are! Run, run, as fast as you can. Something's in the oven, the ginger dead man. <laughs> Evil never tasted so good. Eat me, you punk bitch! And we're lucky here because Robin Sidney, who stars in so many of these movies, including Ginger Dead Man. Imagine Ginger Dead Man, Gary Busey is the cookie, a pissed off, vengeful cookie. And he got to chase this young, wonderful uh, actress around for a whole movie. So. Yeah, now, I've seen her floating around. And she's quite gorgeous. Now, tell me a little bit about working with Gary Busey. Okay, well, first of all, Gary Busey is very, very, very talented. <laughs> and, uh, and during the scenes, I was supposed to be afraid of him, and I'm really glad that I was afraid of him. Okay. <laughs> um, because he really freaked me out. And I In a quiet bakery, one woman is about to confront her past. We gotta fight back. <laughs> An unforgivable act of violence. It also says here that after they fried him in the chair, they cremated him and sent his ashes to his mother in Coonsboro. Something else was just left at the back porch, too. Ooh, must be that gingerbread seasoning. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck. An unholy curse. <laughs> Um, and I only actually worked with him for one day because the rest of the movie, he's a puppet and... A new kind of cookie. The hell is that? Well, it sure ain't the Pillsbury fucking dope boy. Who are you? It was very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for doing the interview. I'm Lauren McDonald. We're here with Real TV Films. Hi.